I guess what I want to talk about this week is, man, know your backyard. I'll talk about it in terms of sledding first, because that's kind of what this is, is a sled block. Um, I do 99% of my riding in the mountains, and that's not to say there isn't tons of great riding where I am. It's just not the type of riding I like most of the time. There are tons of snowmobile clubs in Alberta alone, and most of these are groomed trails. There are a couple places that you can drop into the Alpine. Uh, they're really hard to find. I know where a couple of them are, but most of the time it's still not the same riding that I get in BC. There are tons of weekends that I'll drive out to Revelstoke, which is a 12 hour round trip, and I'll only get in eight hours of riding. Uh, in most cases, you don't have to drive six hours for good sledding. That for mountain sledding, it's a little different. A lot of times, especially if you're in you know, the interior of Canada, yeah, you're stuck having to drive eight, 10, 12 hours to actually get into some good riding. I mean, there are weekends that we decide that uh, driving six to eight hours just for some mountain sledding isn't worth it, especially if every day we've been riding so far has been a cloudy day. If we have the weekend off, maybe we'll load up the sleds and load up the fishing rods and we'll go snowmobiling and ice fishing just for the weekend. Now I'm not just talking about knowing what's in your backyard as far as uh, parks and uh, provincial recreation areas, campgrounds. What I'm mostly talking about is stuff that's actually on Crown land, which Canada here is basically public land. I mean, for example, me and Ben, just uh, on the weekend, we headed west and ended up pulling over on the side of the road, found a trailhead, and actually headed up into the mountains and hiked up a valley to a waterfall. And there was really no way for us to know this was even there unless we actually were driving around and just killing the day and looking for things. Anyway, that's all for this weekend. I'll see you all in the next one. If you haven't checked it out, even if you've never been on a snowmobile before, go check it out because you really get a first person view of what all about snowmobiling is about. Next time, Reggie's going to be wrestling a grizzly bear. See ya!